Hey guys, aren't you excited? I know I am. Today we're going to be trying something new. We're going to be talking about music theory and skills. Oh, but first, I'll need an instrument. Okay, now that I have an instrument, let's talk about some music theory. Today I want to talk about E Aeolian, or E Natural Minor. It's my favorite scale, as well as Iron Maiden and Judas Priest's favorite scale, because the top string is E, and that makes it easily accessible. The E Natural Minor scale consists of E, F sharp, A, B, C, and D, all the way back to E. Now E Minor also has a relative major like all minor scales, and that is G major. G is the same exact notes, you just start on a G. And that also is in common with B Phrygian, which has all the same notes. You just start on B. So here's E minor played. And that's, that's, that's E minor, that's easy. And then here goes G major, it's relative major. Now here's B Phrygian. All these scales had the same exact notes. The only difference was where you started. You can use all these in solos if you're in the keys of B Phrygian, E minor, or G major. Who would have thought? It's very simple and easy to use these while soloing. You just have to worry about your phrasing next. I'm not going to do a lesson on that, though. I suppose it's only right I show you how to play them, huh? Okay, on the A string, 7th fret, 9th fret, 10th, and then go to the D string and do the same thing. And then go to the G string and do 7, 9. That's 7, 9. Now G major. On the E string, 3, 5, 2, 3, 5, and then 2, 4, 5. Okay, and then for B Phrygian, Second string, I mean second fret, A string, and then it's going to be two, three, five, two, four, five, two, four. So two, three, five, two, four, five, two, four. Now just find those notes all over the fretboard and go crazy, you kooky kids.